the government, through its policy, made a, a decision that it would provide support to the music and artists in the creative industry. And at this juncture, we are now here to present the check to the aid bank. The support, the use of the $1 million is very clear. And um, from the press briefing, we'll be able to articulate some of the use of the fund, who will be able to be a beneficiary, on what terms, and um, in terms of the requirements one has to apply in order to benefit from the funds. We are here and we are all happy to be here and I am sure um, the stakeholders in the mu creative industry, particularly musicians and artists, will be elated to know that we've reached this juncture. We are, um, we are responding to the challenges that they face in having working capital to be able to meet particularly the market demands and to enhance the cultural industries in Dominica. So today it's a privilege for me as the Minister of Commerce to present uh, $1 million targeting the musicians and artists in the creative industry. And um, this has been um, provided by the government of Dominica. And this is a, a program that the visionary, Honorable Dr. Scary, the Prime Minister of Dominica, has been pushing. Um, he has, last year, provision was made where um, the, some of the musicians, some of the um, stakeholders were able to be trained. And today is another step closer where funding is being provided through this facility. Um, so the government's policy through this facility is the provision of, as I said, $1 million, EC dollars, and being made available to the aid bank for disbursement at a concessionary rate. Target group would include musicians, singers, songwriters, musical arrangers, musical educator and trainers, musical producers, musical promoters, musical groups, band, calypso tents, recording studios, production entities engaged in music video production, cultural groups, and um, other related beneficiaries can target or can access this loan facility. Support on this facility, as I said, will also cover training in business management, publishing, songwriting, mixing, mastering, marketing, and promotions, events management, music production, contract law, intellectual property, voice training, breath control, among others. The interest rate will be as low as 2%. I will repeat, the interest rate will be as low as 2%. And um, it cannot get, I do not think, any better than this. Um, repayment of loans. Um, in fact, the people accessing the loans, you have up to six months grace period. Um, the loan among shall range from $5,000 to $100,000. And um, you would require, um, or if you're accessing this loan, you would have to meet um, requirements such as a letter of application, your company incorporation documents, and um, it also includes um, your certification, your registration um, certificate if you are a sole proprietor too. So it's not only big companies, sole proprietors can access. Your feasibility reports, your business plans, your performer invoice, we are applicable your bills of quantities, production budget, we are applicable. Um, the ministry, we will continue to play a role of um, liaising with the aid bank and reporting. So we'll mainly play a reporting role, monitoring and reporting role. 
So it's really, um, I'm sounding the call to all the key agents or the target group to make very good use of this facility, access the funding. For many years, I think for decades, we have been trying to push the creative industries. The opportunities out there, when you listen to people like um, Mr. Mari, we know the opportunities out there. But with new technology, um, the, the market demands have changed and we need to rise to this occasion if we are to really make, um, make it in the market, if we are really to succeed. So you have the local market, but you also have the global marketplace where we can sell our products and services. So this is, a, 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 this is history today that um, $1 million is being made available and targeting people in the music industry. So I would really um, encourage all of you to get the necessary information, inform yourselves on this facility, and to um, let's all of us put our shoulder to the wheel and take the opportunities out there to continue to export the goods and services of Dominica. So we're not leaving any sector all as you sector out, as you would notice, as a government, we've targeted the tourism and hotel, especially the hotel and restaurants. We've targeted the, those in agriculture. And now today is the day for musicians and artists in the creative industry. And um, hopefully shortly, um, the manufacturers, or we expect shortly that the facility for manufacturers and agro-processors to come on board. So this government is really targeting the productive sector in Dominica and providing one of the major, helping them to overcome one of the major challenges with a view to expanding our economy, expanding our, um, our export base. So um, we are again privileged and I want to really congratulate and express my appreciation for the Agricultural and Industrial um, Development Bank because they are the ones who are implementing all of these um, projects, all of these facilities, and ensuring that we can drive our development process forward. So thank you, um, Mr. Corbett and the Aid Bank. And thank you for the media for being here and um, continue to spread the good news to all our clientele. Last year at the AGM, at the budget hearings, and the Prime Minister made this proclamation, he made a statement that he is going to make available uh, some funds for serious musicians. Now, I, I met Daryl Bob and Mr. McAfee a few nights ago, and these are serious musicians, and they're here today. So I want to first of all commend the Prime Minister for sticking to his word, his promise that he's going to make these funds available. And these funds are coming out of the CBI program, a program that has benefited us a lot in Dominica, in particular the bank. It, it bank, we are very happy that the CBI program has helped us with liquidity and has also helped us to enhance our image as the leading bank that take risks. You know, we we environment here where we do, uh, we are high risk, low return. So we're unique in what we do. You know, and I want people to understand that. We are not here for profit sharing per se, although, thank God, uh, under my watch, I'm happy to say that we have all this a profit around here. So although we're not supposed to be making large profits, but we are making it because we have to be sustainable. So we take risks. And this is an industry that, that is going to be very risky. You have to understand the patent rights, the trademarks, and all the nuances associated with that. And Mr. Murray and myself and, and Daryl Bob, we, we talk about having staff members at the Aid Bank to be trained, to understand the nature of the industry. You cannot, under any condition, be lending in an industry if you don't understand what are the perquisites that make that industry successful. 
So that is why I'm excited to see that some of that money will go towards training and development as well. Uh, I do not want to overstate or go over what uh, Minister Paul has just said. It's fully detailed and you can ask her more questions during the Q&A session. But essentially, it is going to be at a reduced rate, 2%, um, a moratorium on principle between six and a year, depending on the size. And the most beautiful thing about it, which I like to boast, is that the loan up to $10,000 can be obtained without any cash collateral. So it's virtually unsecured. So, MacArthur, that's your answer. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure you're pleased to hear that. And the, the aid bank in, in, in concert with the ministry have been working very hard to ensure that we put out a product here that is acceptable, affordable, and it can be well managed. So I want to thank uh, the ministry for making this visible to us. It again places us, it increases our reputation here. And again, I want to thank the prime minister very much for sticking his word that he's going to make funds available to serious musicians. Thank you very much.